In today's video, we're going over coin market cap so you can understand all the information that you have available for a coin to see if you want to invest in it or not. So right now we're on coin market cap for Uniswap. I just did a video on how to buy Celsius coin using Uniswap and I wanted to understand if I should buy Uniswap tokens or just continue buying other things. At this current moment, no, I am not going to buy Uniswap because it's not looking good against the trends. So right now we're in the overview of the Uniswap chart and we have a lot of data here and let's just break everything down. So you can toggle on and off this information. So market cap, price, BTC and 24 hour volume. And we'll just address these all one at a time. So you can uh, toggle them on and off just by clicking them. 24 hour volume is right here and it just shows like, all right, is uh, trading consistent? Are there any spikes and is it all news related? So that's 24 hour volume. This is the price against BTC. Basically, it tells you, all right, should you invest in this coin or should you invest in Bitcoin? According to this downward trend, yes, you should just invest in Bitcoin because that's consistently accruing in value. Now we have our next one here, price. Price looks flat. And that's just because the price of Uniswap in US dollars is pretty consistent. But with that said, if you just bought and held Bitcoin, the value of your assets would have been much higher. And then market cap is just the value of the coin and how much money is being invested in it currently. So the market cap of Uniswap is about $1 billion at the moment. And then in the Uniswap here, you can change between day, week, month, three months, and year. So the coin was actually uh, released in early September, so we don't have that much data. Now at the bottom of the chart here, we can actually modify to show us a specific range of dates, and then we can move that around just to see what's happening. So you can see this huge spike here on October 15, where the market cap almost doubled. And if we consider price, price was pretty flat. So uh, there was some kind of event where the market cap doubled and it didn't really affect the price. Next up, markets. So in the markets section here, it shows you where the Uniswap markets are, meaning this is where you can buy the coin. These are all the exchanges that support Uniswap. It shows you the source, pairs, price, volume, and confidence. Now, confidence just means uh, how much coin market cap trusts the reporting data of the exchange because some exchanges manipulate their data, which throws off the numbers and the market price. And whenever you're trading a coin that uh, is pretty obscure, it's not going to have a lot of volume. And you're going to want to go for the highest volume exchange if you want to buy a lot of that token. It just makes it a lot easier because they have coins to sell or buy. And once you're ready to buy, you can select any of these market pairs and it brings you directly to that exchange. So we clicked on the WBF exchange and it opens up the exchange where we can see what's the current price, what people are bidding on and recent trades. Against USD, it's gone up 5% in the past 24 hours, which is pretty good, but uh, so has uh, other coins. So has Ethereum. Headed back to coin market cap, then we can see historical data, and it's just more price uh, history. News. News is actually pretty important. Coin market cap aggregates all the latest news regarding a coin, so if you want to know what's happening in recent news, you can check out that on coin market cap. Socials. I really like the social side of this because it tells me what the people are thinking of the coin. Now, there aren't many social platforms for Uniswap. They just have a Twitter profile. So we're going to go to Twitter and then we can see uh, how many followers they have, any recent news that they're reporting. And Uniswap isn't like exactly a business. It's kind of like a decentralized Ethereum exchange, but there is support and there is a team. Now, if a community isn't listed on the socials page, uh, I would just check Reddit. So I go to Reddit and then I'll search for Uniswap. And you know what? And there is a Uniswap subreddit. I really like uh, CoinMarketCap when they add all the social media for a certain coin, but they did not do that for Uniswap. I checked Reddit. There is a subreddit community for people who are interested in the Uniswap protocol. And the subreddit is just called Uniswap. Here you can find postings and news from recent users or things they're struggling with or things they've experienced. 
so you can kind of get a feel for like what's happening in the community. And then in the far right, the analysis tab, it just kind of tells you their prediction if it's bullish or bearish and where all the money is like moving around. And that's it. That's how you use coin market cap to determine what's happening with a coin. Then you kind of make the decision if you want to invest in it or if you want to invest in something else. And this has been your lesson for today. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, comment on what you're buying or what you're researching right now. And please subscribe because it helps the channel grow and I'd like this channel monetized. Thanks, Dan out.